Dr. Gelly Rinpoche has uh, told me that we have covered, you have covered uh, the first two refuges, that is the Buddha and the Dhamma. Now we're going to, uh, I have to, uh, we're going to discuss from the third uh, refuge, that is uh, uh, Sangha or uh, community of spiritual practitioners. So Sangha uh, or, or congregation of spiritual practitioners uh, is defined as, uh, and that is basically what we call as um, uh, Arya Sangha, uh, kind of uh, ultimate Sangha, uh, not just kind of conventional Sangha, but an Arya Sangha, uh, superior Sangha, by definition, is someone who has or who, who, has, who has any of the eight qualities of knowing and uh, cessation. So any of the eight qualities of knowing, positive knowing, that is positive cognition, and state of uh, liberation, or state of uh, kind of uh, a state of cessation or state of liberation. So any of the eight qualities, such eight or such uh, qualities are in, enumerated. Mm-hmm. Oh,天天神经就了,天神人不有吧,我送到神经人的时候。神经刚刚了,三节日有的,三,刚刚说说,天神人,神经人,神经人,神经人,神经人,神经人,神经人,神经人,神经人,神经人,神经人,神经人,
having uh, uh, gained liberation or cessation pertaining to uh, uh, obs obscuration of uh, negative emotions, and second, second, second is uh, having gained cessation pertaining to uh, obscuration or to omniscience, what we call as shady. And then uh, the third is having gained uh, uh, liberation from either of these two, obscuration of, uh, obscuration of negative emotions and obscuration to omniscience. Um, mm -hmm. And then the eighth one is uh, uh, the having gained realizations pertaining to uh, understanding of and any kind of conventional pertaining to conventional reality, and having gained uh, realization pertaining to, uh, and, uh, have, or having gained cessation, having gained cessation of liberation from or because of knowing uh, conventional reality. So, uh, kind of very technical in some sense, but what it really means is that uh, as soon as one, uh, as, well, as soon as one. Um, gains direct insight or direct realization into emptiness, one becomes uh, a genuine Sangha. One becomes a genuine Sangha. Uh, and so that is um, you know, what we call as the quality of realization uh, pertaining to the ultimate nature. So as soon as one, as soon as one uh, achieves, as soon as one achieves direct insight into the state of emptiness, one becomes a genuine Sangha. But from that onwards, from direct perception of ultimate reality, from that onward, then you know we, one can have various degrees of realizations and uh, uh, states of states of cessation or liberation. Uh, but and up from the first kind of uh, uh, Arya state to all the way to the Buddha, you know we can have uh, many bodhisattvas on various grounds. They are all. Uh, having varying degrees of realization and state of liberation, but they all are uh, genuine Sangha. Even the Buddha is actually uh, a genuine Sangha as well because of possessing all of these qualities. Pagbekansa, <laughs> So therefore, uh, uh, Sangha as one of the uh, three jewels, uh, that is the uh, authentic Sangha, uh, uh, can be defined as someone who has uh, achieved direct uh, realization of emptiness and therefore is not uh, uh, swayed by or who does not actually come under the influence of uh, self-grasping uh, and therefore, uh, who does not actually come under the influence of uh, craving and aversion and negative uh, and ignorance, the, the three roots, uh, delusions or clashes or negative emotions. And uh, so therefore, Sangha can be of three types. Uh, sangha, uh, one is uh, uh, Sangha belonging to the uh, hearers, Sangha uh, belonging to the uh, vehicle of the solitary realizers, and then a Mahayana Sangha. So basically, uh, by entering into any of these three vehicles, the vehicle of nyante or hearers, the the the, the vehicle of the uh, solitary realizers or Prateka Buddha or the vehicle of the Mahayana, one can actually achieve the achieve direct insight into emptiness and therefore become sangha in that sense. Mm, oh yeah. Mm. Tantunda <laughs> 
Cheku consulatagi de gay sums at the share trusting you. So therefore, uh, Sangha become, became a Sangha uh, because of direct insight into emptiness, uh, and therefore a Sangha does not actually come under the influence of negative emotions because of uh, uh, seeing directly the ultimate reality of nature. Uh, but the way in, the, in which they trained until they gained that state of realization into emptiness was, first of all, training on understanding and contemplation or impermanence, then training on selflessness and so forth, right? So the way in which we seek refuge in the Sangha is by actually seeing them as a role model and therefore training the way they trained on the path. And that is how a Sangha becomes a refuge in the sense that they become a role model, they become a kind of inspiration. Oh, yeah, 